Orion in the Dark was great until this scene ruined everything. But to understand why, we need to start from the beginning. The movie follows 11 year old Orion, an overthinker with massive anxiety. The first showcase of his anxiety is him not being able to talk to a girl, which is pretty normal and relatable. I also can't talk to girls. So, so far, pretty relatable, until Orion takes it to the extreme. You see, Orion is scared of absolutely everything. He is a literal hermit crab. He's scared of clogging the toilets, but not in like a normal way. More in like a flood the entire school way and clowns cell phone waves giving cancer, mosquito bites getting infected, falling off a skyscraper, saying good morning, bees, dogs, the ocean, being responsible for his team losing, locker rooms, this bully Richie Panici who says stuff like, wear pants much? Yeah, pretty much just like normal fears. Even though Orion keeps to himself, Sally, his crush, asks him on kind of a date to the field trip, and he just stares at her, saying absolutely nothing. Kids got game. I I'll give him that. But He's scared of field trips and he's not going. This is the foundation for the entire movie. And honestly, it's introduced extremely well. In a matter of minutes, we have learned everything about Orion in a very engaging and fun way. Also, being able to hear his thoughts was the perfect way to showcase his anxiety. And his thoughts feel very natural and real. We have also been given a reason to stay to the end, his goals. His main goal is to conquer his fears. And while that accomplishment is going to be satisfying to see, conquering those fears will also lead to him going on a field trip and possibly dating Sally. Speaking of fears, Orion's biggest fear is the dark. So of course, the only way for him to sleep at night is with millions of nightlights. But bam, they all go out. And this makes Orion start freaking out. And then there's an entity in the dark coming out of nowhere and he tells him to shut up. What? This entity is dark. Dark is pretty much the cause of darkness. Yeah, that's, that's it. Anyways, Dark is actually very sad because no one likes him. And for the first time in Orion's life, he views darkness differently. He sympathizes with something he once feared, and this is kind of a cool perspective to be honest. And honestly, now I kind of feel bad, so let's just turn off this light. So Dark believes if he can get Orion to not fear him, then anyone could potentially like him. So after some convincing, they head out on their journey. And then the movie just pauses. What? Some little girl is talking, and it's Orion's daughter. It turns out Orion is actually telling his daughter this story because she too is afraid of the dark. This scene is actually pretty cute, and this dynamic is as well. Hypatia, his daughter, is pretty much the voice for us, the audience, giving thoughts and concerns on the story. So Dark takes Orion flying through the sky, turning the world dark with some Tame Impala music, and this scene is so sick. Of course, our little boy Orion is not enjoying this, and he's peeing himself the entire time. And Dark also almost kills him too, so I guess that was bad, but he's fine. Dark then takes Orion to the rest place they go to when waiting for the next time zone, and we meet the other dark entities. Sleep, quiet, insomnia, unexplained noises, and sweet dreams. I honestly love when movies explain normal boring things like they are so magical. The little kid in me is just dancing around. Then we get to see how all the entities do their job, and they actually made them really interesting and funny. Like for example, sleep practically just knocks people out to make them sleep, which makes Orion mad and yells at her to stop, and <laughs> what a little hero, huh? Now this is all cool and dandy until you really think about what these entities do. Little spoiler alert for the light entities, there's actually just one, light. You never see any other entity being shown from this side. So does that mean in this world you need to be like forced to sleep? If you're tired during the day, just suck it up, boo hoo. Honestly, little mistakes like this will get covered up well later in the film, but we aren't there yet. Anyways, he plays a little hero again and sabotages every entity from doing their job. But <laughs> when he goes and sees how Sweet Dream does her job, he uh, really kills it. So this lady Irene is having literally the best dream she's probably ever had in her life. And here comes Orion, taking all of his fear thoughts and giving her probably the scariest nightmare she's ever had. And then he almost dies, which is crazy. But he did survive, which is great. Along with openly admitting to Dark he isn't scared of him anymore, which is progress. And then with all that progress, the scene I've been talking about comes on. So Orion says his future daughter would like how they are becoming friends. And maybe that's a weird coincidence, right? Well, we cut back to the real daughter. How did you know that? And he goes, I don't know, I'm just riffing here. Wait, wait, wh what? What? He's, he's riffing. W what does that mean? Well, then Hypatia says, I don't know how you keep making up all this stuff. Wh what? No, no. He's about to say that it's real, right? Well, you could definitely make up a story like this. Oh, wow. Okay, what? Let me explain why this scene irks me so bad. We have spent 40 minutes becoming attached to Orion, and we have sympathized with him and built a connection with him, but this scene just told me that he isn't real. And now I guess I have to sympathize with Hypatia and adult Orion, but I don't know nothing about them. Now even if the goals from earlier are accomplished, it won't feel as good and earned because it's literally just a bedtime story. This also just explains perfectly how light entities don't exist, because this world doesn't have to make sense. I personally feel this scene just ruined the movie, and believe it or not, it gets worse. 
We go back to the made up story and Orion is happy now and seems less fearful, enjoying his night with Dark and actually helping out the entities and they're starting to actually like him. While this is happening, Hypatia asks Orion if they can walk outside in the night, just like Orion and Dark, which I guess is character building for the actual real characters, so that's cool. And then we get some more proof the story is not real, when we learn adult Orion is actually scared of the dark, and so Hypatia gives some advice on the story, which changes everything. You see, young Orion stopped being afraid of the dark, he was actually really enjoying it, but Hypatia said that if actual him was scared of the dark, then young Orion should be too. I think the idea of the story being changed whenever is so weird. Orion going from unafraid of the dark to afraid again is very inconsistent and just makes the story feel all over the place. So after we see Orion terrified of going into the dark, he convinces every dark entity that daytime is better than nighttime. Which is so weird. Orion just makes all these loyal night entities switch up on dark. And he literally makes him suicidal. I'm not lying. Dark says, I'm not going on, and sits on a mountain rock turtle and waits for daylight saying nobody likes me anyway and when light comes passing by dark disappears no one knows where he has gone and the world is rid of dark which then makes everyone realize how important dark really is but the real conflict of his matter feels not as big when you realize it's just not real and that's the end of the story until hypatia decides to just change the ending yeah hypatia goes into the story and says hello to young orion this part just got me the story is literally just all over the place. And honestly, the only thing holding the scene together is how young Orion stays in character, which is kind of cool. So Hypatia tells him to go to sleep and remember Dark to save him. And he finally faces his fears. And honestly, this part is very motivational and provides very good advice for facing your fears. And it's not awful. I think they could have done differently and gave the same message, but it's, it's whatever. Orion takes his daughter back to his house and shows his parents, and it's a pretty funny scene. But then they start freaking out on how to get Hypatia back to the future. And then, uh, it just really falls off the rails. This weird looking Tico gnome Power Ranger comes out the window and time travels her back to the future after shooting some aliens and happy ever after, I, I guess. Turns out real Hypatia let her kid decide the final ending, because her ending was just as she was stuck in the past. Then in the end of the movie we see Orion sitting with his crush, and honestly this scene would have been so satisfying to see, especially because it looks like they got married, but it doesn't feel right, because we don't even know the real Orion and the real story of how he got her. We know nothing about the real characters and that kinda sucks. This story could have been great, in my opinion, if it had not been so disorganized and completely unreal. But honestly, all that aside, this movie was really fun, and I enjoyed watching it. And it has amazing reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, so this movie wasn't a flop. It was very creative and different. And honestly, the idea of a father and daughter and her kid making up a story together that helps them through their fears is kinda cute. I personally wasn't a fan of the dynamic, but it's definitely worth a watch, and I'd love to hear your opinion. Wow, Dad, how did you come up with that full film essay on Ryan in the Dark? I don't know, I don't know, I was just watching TV and riffing a little bit. Wow.